Good morning, everyone. I am blessed and highly favored to see another day. All glory and praise mm. be to my Father God, who is number one in my life. Now, with that being said, I am going to be speaking about Elijah and the widow's oil. And I am going to be reading out of the book of 2 Kings chapter 4. Verses 1 through 7. Mm. All right. Starting at verse 1. A certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elijah, saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord, and the creditor is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. So Elijah said to her, what shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? <laughs> Here's where it get interesting. He said, tell me what do you have in the house? And she said, your maid servant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil. Hey, keep that in mind. A jar of oil. Then he said, go borrow vessels from everywhere, from all your neighbors. Empty vessels. They got to be empty now. Empty vessels. Do not gather just a few. So gather as many as you can. So. And when you have come in. You shall shut the door behind you. And your sons. Then pour it into all those vessels. And set aside the full ones. Set aside the full ones. Mm. So she went from him. And shut the door behind her. And her sons who brought the vessels to her. And she poured it out. Now it came to pass when the vessels were full. That she said to her sons bring me another vessel. And he said to her. There is not another vessel. So the oil sees. That's the miracle right there. Mm, there is not another vessel. So the oil sees. So with that being said. You know if it was more vessels. The oil would have kept on flowing right. The oil would have kept on flowing. <laughs> it would have kept on flowing. So it sees because it was no more vessels. Amen. Then she said. Came and told the, the man of God. And he said, go sell the oil and pay your debts. And you and your sons live on the rest. <laughs> oh, man. He said, live on the rest. Man, you see how good God is. Glory, hallelujah. That's the miracle right there. Man. And he said to her, there is not another vessel. So the oil you sees. Then she came and told the man of God. And he said, go sell the oil you and pay your debts. And you and your sons live on the rest. So it was plenty left over to live on mm, so go handle your debts and pay pay them off and everything and you still have enough you see how good god is glory hallelujah man all right now jumping in the study section in my um niv all right the woman and her sons collected jars from their neighbors right pouring olive oil into them from though their one jo their one jar the olive oil was used for cooking for lamps 
and for a few, the oil you stop pouring only when they ran out of containers. And those was the vessels that he was saying, which is containers. The number of jars they gathered was an indication of their faith. Of their faith. Dang, that's why I love a study Bible. That's to break it down. Of their faith. God's provision was as large as their faith. Man, and willingness to be obedient. Be aware of limiting God's blessings by a lack of faith. That's why the word of God says it is impossible to please God without faith. But it is not by faith alone. Works must be done. You know, they had to do work and they had to be obedient, you know. And they had to have faith. Mm. We have a great king because he loves us. We can bring great requests to him. God is able to do inf infinite, yeah, uh, infinite, infinitely more than we can ask, than or in imagine. Amen. Now I got a reference. That's uh, the book of Ephesians. Uh, chapter 3 verse uh, yeah, 20 through 21. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Mm, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and Ever, amen. Glory, hallelujah. Hey, that deserve another one. <laughs> Glory. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Man, there was the miracle right there. Like the oil stopped. You know, when they didn't have no more vessels to pour in. And it just said, you know, uh, God's provision was... As large as their faith, as their faith and willingness, you know what I'm saying? But hey, glory, hallelujah, man, that brings joy to my heart, man. I serve a man, a wonderful God, man, man. How can you not serve a God like this? You know what I'm saying? And, and it's a hey, people ain't right in the head, man. It's a man. It's a, um. Man, God blessings by a, a lack of faith and oh a lack of faith and obedience. We have a great king because he loves us. We can bring great requests to him. That's what he say. Come to the throne, you know, come boldly unto the throne. Man, glory, how he said the oil was used for cooking, for lamps, and for few. The oil stopped. The oil stopped. Mm, pouring only when they ran out of containers. So with that being said, hey, if they had more containers, their oil would have kept on flowing. But they didn't have no containers, so it ceased. It stopped. It came to a pause. And then, hey, she was told to go pay off your debt and everything. And it was more left over for her and her two sons to live on. Man, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> glory, hallelujah. That's that word, man. Hey, that, hey, that's that word, man. God 365, none. Stop just peace music, ENT ministry. Uh, 